Hey everybody, this is a review of the Liegu T5. So I've been using this phone on and off for about a week and a half now. And you know, it's not the best phone, but for, for only 130 US dollars, you can't complain. I mean, this is a metal phone, really sturdy, really nicely built. And you know, and you get two cameras on the back too. So for 130 bucks, the 5.5 inch 1080p LCD display is solid. It looks pretty good, but it doesn't get that bright. Returning to the back of the device, I actually like the antenna lines that are kind of just indented into the phone It's so you can feel the texture a little bit. On the right side, it's a volume rockers and power button. The left side is completely clean, so quite a nice build quality. There are a couple of design compromises that betray the fact that this is a budget phone. So as you can see, the bolt right there, it sticks out a little bit and it doesn't match the rest of the phone. I don't know why they couldn't paint it black. And also the T5 still uses micro USB to charge, so not USB-C. So the T5 runs Android 7.0, so not the latest 7.1.1, which is fine, I think, for a budget Chinese phone. There's 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. The chipset is a MediaTek 6750, which is a mid-tier chipset, so let's check some benchmarks. So as you can see, it scored a 592 single core, and 2,460 on multi-core. These numbers are solid, they're respectable for a budget device that costs 130 bucks. In real life usage, I didn't encounter any problems at all, whether it was gaming, or watching a movie, or running two apps side by side in split screen mode. The phone operated mostly fine. It did lag on me slightly every now and then, but nothing major. So moving on to the camera. This phone has dual cameras, a 13 megapixel shooter and a secondary 5 megapixel lens. And it of course can do that bokeh trick because every freaking Chinese phone feels like it needs to do this now. It's pretty easy to to operate. You just have to tap that um, icon on, on the left of the screen and then just you can actually adjust the aperture to shutter. And the effects come out okay, it's respectable. This is the shot, not as good as a OnePlus 5, but better than a G only S10. So now this is another bokeh shot. Look at the guy on the left, his right hand has been blurred, so the effect is not perfect. But overall, the camera software is easy to use. So there are various shooting modes, uh, normal, panorama, HDR, night. So night mode, I think it increases the ISO to take in more lighting. And then there's also a child mode, which is really weird. So when you tap the button, it'll make a sound like a cat's meow or a baby to attract the attention of a, a child you're trying to take a photograph of. And there's also film mode. It's pretty gimmicky. You just turn, um, basically it, it gives you that cinem cinematic aspect ratio, 16 by nine, I believe. And after you take the photo, there are a bunch of filters. You can apply more dramatic cinematic effects. So it looks pretty cool, but it's nothing that Instagram cannot already do. So if you saw my hands-on on this phone. You already know that this phone takes pretty bad videos at night. The, just the quality is not good. But in daylight, um, video recording turns out fine. So now looking at photo samples, it's the same story. If you have good lighting, I think the shots come out quite detailed and quite vibrant. But if you're taking photos in low light, then it will suffer. I mean, is this camera as good as a LG G6 or an iPhone 7? No, but this phone's only 130 bucks. So for 130 bucks, these photos are quite all right in my opinion. Moving on to software, I find Liegu's um, Android skin quite pleasant. There's ability to let you swap the back button to the other side if you don't like. And you can also double tap to wake the screen, which is very useful. And the fingerprint reader is super fast. So that's hardware and software. In terms of battery life, the 3000 milliamp battery is sufficient. I tend to get a full day. But if you notice, I can't tap into battery usage. I think it's a bug. So I can't see my screen on time. So I find the T5 very comfortable to use. It feels good in the hand probably because of the metal unibody build. The 5.5 inch 1080p screen is quite lovely to look at. You know, the phone's not perfect, but it's 130 bucks. What more can you ask for? Thanks for watching.